Hello ladies and gents, this is Kano from the Gamer Section back with another review. For today's review is on Deceive Inc. for the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. If you are looking for the best looking graphics in the game, then you are not going to get that here. Graphically, it's cartoonish on the levels of Mad Street, the fighting game. The audio in the game is clean with the headphones on, or if you have an OLED TV, then you will get that crisp sound. When it comes down to the music, you will get that golden eye feel to the point, but not really. The music feels like you have that agency on a mission feel to the game. The whole overall presentation to Deceive Inc. is okay at best. It's fast, but does have a bit of clunkiness to the button somewhat along with the switching in the menu. Deceive Inc. is a multiplayer first person shooter where you play as a spy in an agency. Let's start off with the modes in the game. They only have solo which is more of every person for themselves and they have team based mode like team deathmatch in a way. You choose from some of the characters in the game but there are a few that you have to grind to unlock. In each match you can disguise yourself in different NPCs or have a solo hollow type of gadget to blend in with people or take in form of objects like toilets, chairs, planets, plants, etc. When loading out in the game, you can choose from characters to the gadgets and guns that come with it. The game is fast paced and if you play Call of Duty, the aiming mechanics are fast and fluid along with the movements too. This game should be more of a free to play game than a price point game. This game is bare bones and doesn't have a fun factor when it comes to this game. Another big issue that I have within this game is the fact that if you lose, you have to wait until the match ends to respawn, which truly I did not like. I have to compare that to Crossfire X when I went through some of the matches in the game. When it comes down to the modes or missions that it has in the game, it's really non-existent with just about two modes solo, which it really isn't much in team-based mode. Honestly, this game should have had a single player mode in the game where it could have had an intriguing storyline, but it doesn't. It's not a bad game, it just needs more to add within Deceive Inc. For that, I give Deceive Inc. a 3 out of 5. Thank you for tuning in to the best place for gaming and that's the gamer section. Be sure to hit the like button on the video and please subscribe to the channel.